again everybody back to a little bit more streaming all right so today i've got a couple of things to focus on um i still really want that uh spider farm you know the cave spider farm uh, it'll give me a ton of advancements and help me get uh you know a grind for enchantments especially um i am a bit worried about my food though because for one thing um uh, I don't have a proper food farm going yet. Now, I've got 64 wheat, so I can always use that to transform. Um, tons of potatoes and such, but it, I should probably get working on that, quite frankly, uh, in addition to all that. Uh, also, um, if I am going to be uh, working on that cave spider farm, I am going to need uh, some milk to sort of help get over the side effects of it. I, I've actually got a really nice layout. Um, since I'm not planning on building it today, I'll hold off on showing that until later so um, if I do want to get if I do want to get serious about that cave spider farm I'm gonna need uh, some access to cows especially and I mean for enchantments as well I need those to sort of help set out uh, the enchantments proper you know and and to you know the the basics for that um, in addition uh, that sort of changes my priorities a little bit on here although I can actually do uh, some nice frivolous things right now uh, because, uh, well, actually, before I get, uh, because, no, 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 before I get too far, um, the uh, map has been updated for uh, Satosis as well. You can actually sort of see what it looks like. Here is my little area right here. If I go across and switch to night, you can see that bright spot that was down there is almost gone. Now, unfortunately, it's probably not going to show too well on this screen, but there's actually just a subtle little bit of brightness within there. Um, basically, if I just move the torch back uh, one or two steps, it should be fine. Uh, the catch, of course, is that, well, I have to go down there and move it back a bit. Uh, but now I've got a little bit more options when it actually comes uh, to, when it comes to laying things out. Because uh, on my walk back, <laughs> my walk of shame back uh, from Salaxial, hopefully I'm pronouncing that's right, it's Portal, I got uh, a bunch of red poppies, which allowed me to actually create uh, a bunch of red poppies, which allowed me to create a bunch of red dye. And actually, I can use that now to go ahead and just dye all sorts of things that I like. So for the first little bit, um, as sort of the splits imply above, um, I'm actually just going to focus on a little bit of crafting and getting things sort of prepared uh, within there and maybe working a bit on um, some of the other minor tidying that I've got to do. Uh, so actually with that, get you started. I always forget to, to do that one so in that case. So let's get working on things, uh, especially since it just turned uh, dark. I think we've Sort of just got the moon coming up over there, so. Yeah, oh, we got a little bit of time to waste. Oh, in fact, speaking of which, I did sleep a little bit just to keep away those phantoms. They've been a bit of a pain for me in the past, so. Ta -da. But okay. First thing, now that I've got red, um, I can actually build red carpets. Now, I'm a little bit hamstrung in that my uh, car most of my white carpets are back over there at the shelter. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of tweaking over here and just basically build a couple more. Let's see, let me pull... Actually, let me get rid of my glass. Nether brick, I should move over there. Uh, another nice side effect of going to the nether. Uh, and I've also got some soul sand, uh, which is terribly handy for working underwater. Basically, it generates a series of bubbles, which then sort of float up towards the surface, and it replenishes your air supply, which is great. I guess I need to build some more fences too, but focus, focus, focus. Right, yes, yeah, so as you can see, I've already done a little bit of, you know, work with stained glass and all that. I'm going to need a lot more of this, but, you know, it's a start. Uh, these ones will be too. Water buckets, I still need some of that. Oh yes, and another thing I need to focus on, probably the most dire uh, resource that I'm low on right now is wood. Now I can probably get a little bit from the mine shaft proper, but you know, it would be good to actually have sort of like a tree farm going as well. So we'll play that one a little bit by ear as we go with it. But in the meantime, no, I want me nice carpets. All right, now a carpet is this, is it not? It is not. Oh. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, I'm only going to make a couple. Can I throw some down there? No, I cannot. I have to actually make the carpet themselves. So I'm going to need about 9 to 12 carpet downstairs. Oh, incidentally, another uh, nice benefit of carpet is that um, if is that if you lay it out, uh, enemies don't spawn on there as well. So I can take all those uh, bottom slabs that I had before and convert them over to carpet. Now I've actually got a really nice path rather than having that sort of dip and then going up like that before. So I think that's definitely worth the effort. All right, let's build up some carpets. Let's throw a little bit of dye in there. Dye them carpets. I'm doing that right, right? Yep, okay. All right, let's check for carpet. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go like that. All right. So you go in there. And where do my carpets go? Carpets, where you at? Uh, looks like I'm going to have to do it in multiples anyway. All right, I'm gonna be like that. Then I'm gonna get myself two more carpets. Ugh. Synchronization, not all that good. But all right. Here we go, though. All right, now I have my red carpets. Okay, plus some extra white ones as well. That should be enough for what I'm trying to do. I will take some red dye with me anyway to sort of help deal with that situation over there. Where are you moving? Somewhere up there. Still got a bit more time. All right, uh, let's over. Uh, oh yeah, and for my uh, mob farm as well, I am planning on doing a little bit of uh, redstone. So I do need that set up. Oh, I will be needing my banners. Uh, but we'll you can go back. White carpet, I'll just hang on to you for now. Uh, nether brick, you can go back up top here. It's looking pretty good. All right, so the carpet I've got. Uh, I will still need to work on the fences. How's my I'm gonna stone shovel and backup? But I should probably create a new shovel as well. I still don't really know where I got this bow from. But hey, I'm not going to turn it down. Uh, what was this? Repair you, with Mr. Anvil. I do have some levels here, so. Oh, so yes, um, let's work on some fences first. M after all. Oh shoot. Running low. All right, well, since I'm only planning on getting uh, two cows this time, the minimum you need for breeding, I think I'll be fine with just two fences for now. Oh, yeesh, that means I am really low on planks. So either I go down and collect more, or I build my farm. My saplings. Okay, um, how many fences do I have? Oh, there we go. Seven. Yeah, that's, that's enough for now. Carpet laid out. Fences laid out. Now let's tidy up these maps. Uh, let's move you here. I get a good, nice column set up for these ones. Got a buried treasure map. Well, that one kind of names itself. Let's head over to Mr. Anvil here. Start naming these things. I'm going to call you Nether Map. Bam. All right, if I bring this up here, yeah, it shouldn't show anything. Because, well, I'm not in the Nether. Ha ha ha. Uh, okay. That one finished. Treasure map. I don't know if I can combine you with my 
I'm going to have to try and combine it with my cartography table. Figure out, you know, if I can expand it out and use it for something other than a buried treasure map. I guess for the time being, since it is fairly obvious what it does, I don't really need to worry about renaming it. So, oh yes, now I've got to work on these two. So, my first map, I think, would be sort of... Uh, this will be... What should I call this one? Uh, do, 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 do. I had... Let's see. We will call it... A home... Home to Maxum. Home. Well, it's got that one settled. Finally. Yeah, this would be GH Home. GH Home Minzoom. I don't know how to think of it. It would have actually been smarter to reverse the names on there. Change home. Yeah, but I don't want to go back and change that name again. Because the more I do it, the more uh, it's actually going to cost me in terms of levels. And I still kind of want to save those. All right, well, I'm definitely going to need this one for my last little bit. Uh, Nether map, not going to be using you for the next little while. You two can all go. Uh, red carpet I should be able to do on my own. So I don't think I necessarily have to worry about the time or anything related to that. Oh yeah, can I repair bow? And is it wood planks that I need? Thanks, no. A string maybe. Bow and String? No. And planks? No. And stick? No. Alright, cannot be repaired, I guess. Or I'm doing it wrong. I'll have to look that one up later on. So, Alright, uh, you go back, string. Back from whence you came. Um, there's your pickaxe. And you up there. I am going to need another shovel, though. Arrows are awesome, you get to stay. I am going to be needing you later, but not now. So I'm going to put you over here. Uh, obsidian, oh yes, yes. And one other cool thing as well. Um, Satosis is sort of like a community server. I'm trying to sort of build up the emergency thing and all the... Uh, sort of, and, and all the... Uh, this sort of transport thing is, you know, giving back to the community, you know, and especially uh, when I do sit down and build a flower farm for grinding all these uh, dyes and stuff, I'm going to make sure it is open to the public as well. Um, <laughs> can't really do much, unfortunately, with my uh, cave, fighters, cave spider farm since it's basically underneath my base. But yeah, so it's my way of sort of contributing back to that. And it turns out when I complained that, you know, my nether portal was completely in the wrong spot, uh, Elbows One, or is it Elbow One? I've forgotten exactly the name. Uh, gave me a half, almost a half a stack of obsidian, which is awesome. It means now that I can actually go back to the Nether and build myself a portal, and use that to actually properly uh, do fast travel between these places. Obviously, I got to do a little bit of digging within there, but it's going to be super handy for that. And while I, well, twenty-eight is sort of an odd number. Uh, it does allow me to have that one spare. Plus, um, if you actually go back and look at where my home is, if I may head back over here, transition back to my old home. Sort of back where I was hanging at before. Sort of a little starter home right there. But if you look over here, that's a failed portal with a number of uh, blocks already put in place. So I don't need a full uh, I don't need a full set of 10 obsidian to actually make myself another portal. Awesome. So I can actually go back and get that fixed up. All right. So back over here, although I don't know why I've got a lava bucket right now. 
I should probably stow you here, just temporarily. Uh, yeah, I am going to be needing stairs later on, especially if I do myself some drilling. You, the obsidian I'll come back to. You can just chill right over there. Still running slow on that. Flint and steel. Might as well stash you. And oh, nice. We got sun. So that means I can get to work straight on that over there. The, I'm sorry, the... My plan actually to get um, a bunch of cows in it, I've always planned to have multiple exits from my base. I think I've mentioned on stream actually that I was planning a uh, south entrance, but it would be great to actually have one going over here and going over to the, uh, oh, what is it? Let's see if I can go back over here. You can see behind me, there's actually a ton of planes and all that. And the plan is basically to sort of build another entrance, which comes in here. And this is basically where I'd, sh where I'd shepherd in all the uh, mobs that I'm getting. Obviously, other than sheep, since I've already got them. So, uh, let's get to work straight away. Uh, I've got my map. Cobblestone, you can sit out there. I don't have stone, stone. Shoot. All right, I should head back up for that. But in the short term... Let's take full advantage of this. And I'm going to de-equip my shield just so the map is a lot larger and easier to see. So, let's set up a banner right here. On map. On map. It only works above ground, I take it. Alright. I shall have to make do. Up right. We went over here. Sounds weird. Better if I do it this way. No, apparently not. All right. Guess I've got to be visible to the sky. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. Oh yes, no, and I forgot to make myself a shovel. I should do that. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna have to deal with a fair bit of dirt. So. The stupid stone shovel will be sufficient for now. Uh, I'm gonna have to refill my water buckets. Again, I'll leave you off. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. All right, stone. I don't think I need all this cobblestone, so I'll just instead transition you. Oh no, your gravel, that's why you're not working. Okay. There we go. Plenty of stone to sort of fill in. Anything else I need to ditch? Fences? Curb. Oh, I'm doing okay. All right. Finally. Ha <laughs> ha! Beat you there, sheep. Alright, well then I'm gonna have to get up top to figure that one out. Which is annoying, but. Yep. Yeah. Alright. And down to the main entrance. That's okay, because it allows us to push off this carpet. Yeah, it looks like it's that torch right there that's causing the problems. So, if I may steal you back and just rely entirely on you. Now I can lay out a little bit of carpet. Uh, this spot is out of view right here, so... Heh, <laughs> I forgot my boat. Uh, so, uh, I can actually just lay down a bunch of carpet, starting right over here. Nice spot. I also need me some stone. So, stone. Carpet. Stone. Ugh. You bring a little bit of cobblestone, right? So I did. I don't need it. No. Alright. Stone. Carpet. I don't have a water supply down here, do I? Illinois.
That's okay. I'm literally right next to the ocean, so I think that's a pretty good substitute for an infinite water supply. I am sillies. All right, carpet. There we go. All the red carpet I could possibly want. I do actually have an infinite. Well, no, no, no. What? What do I care? Because I've got it sitting over there. All right. Let's take full advantage of the daylight. I'm going to double check something, because it looks like sounds, match your volume 50. Okay, well, it was on. I don't know why I wasn't listening to, why I wasn't hearing any sounds, but whatever. There we go. Sounds just being quiet. One unfortunate side effect of trying to preserve the environs as much as I can is it means that I don't really have any sort of good, nice means of getting up. But that's okay, because once I get this entrance in place, I will have all the entrances, all the, the stuff that I need for that. So, go over here, pair of banners over here. Some spare poppies. I should probably grab a few. Poor lonely sheep. Last I have stolen your friends. Go. Oh. Now for the fun part. Synchronize these two. Is that my boat over there? Someone's taking full advantage. All right. Oh, great. Okay, come here. Come on, creeper. Yeah, here we go. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Now, take the rewards. Oh, I don't even have room for that. Jeez. I am full up. I'll tell you what. I got any stone sitting in here? How about all my stone? Absorb it all. I must have. All right. All right. Now I can somewhat synchronize. So this is the outside of my wall here. So if I go left, uh, one. Oops. One, two. Oh, no, that's right. You actually have to go one back. So I start right here. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So this is my line right here. You, hey, Mr. Banner? Try and line this up as best I can. Make it as easy as possible. There we go. Now, you 
flip you and go a little bit more that way. Oh no, I can't go any further than this, basically. Alright, well, it is what it is. There. And that gives me my line. Well, quite frankly, you could afford to be a little bit further back. Let's put you right there. And there we go. Nice line to actually start doing some digging on. About noon, that's fine. Let's take my shield off. Sacrifice snow fort. Well, I don't need to sacrifice anything. <laughs> Right. This will be more over here, please. Yeah, that is a nice little notch. I'm definitely going to have to figure out something for, you know, this floating island over here and that little notch. There's some interesting terrain right around me. Okay. Now to do a little bit more app work. Somewhere in here, I've got to start drilling in. Question, of course, is where? R. I remember the alignment thing. It should be right around in here. My own footsteps. All right. I think this is my goal. Let's get a digging. All right, I think my plan for this is going to be to basically dig as horizontal as possible and go from there. Although I see I have not been updating my splits. Okay. About right. Yeah. So dig in a ways here. I'm unfortunately going to lose sight of the entire world. But the goal here is to just sort of dig far enough in, and then I sort of figure out exactly where to go up later on. I'll throw out some torches, too. This would seem wise. And I put in a set of doors. Eventually with, actually no, there's a better way to handle that uh, involving signs and water. That is gonna be fun to build. But how is my map doing? Still pretty far away, huh? Fine by me. I said I wasn't going to toss anything away, but it would be handy to pick up some of this cobblestone. Remember, because I'm doing a lot of building, I'm going to want as many resources as I can. So even things like cobblestone would be incredibly handy. You now, when it comes to building the essentially the roof on the farming area, and all points you know related to that. Still got a little ways to go. Interesting. Don't quite know where you are. I may have to do a little exploring. Ah, oh, yes, I've got a little bit of a cave. 
Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Not too keen on that other than your coal. I don't have any spots to store the coal, do I? Where's Noble? Coal's a bit more useful right now. What time of day is it? That's getting dim. Cobblestone. I got rid of my black stone. Embarrassing. All right. Thank you very much for that, but I'm gonna have to wall you off. I'm gonna keep a torch around though. You can go over there. You are going to get filled in with proper stone. Two full stacks of cobblestone. Really should have gotten rid of that. Ah, whatever. Oh, well, there we go. Oh! Even if I don't have proper storage for the coal, at least I'll be getting a little bit of experience out of the ordeal. What? Oh, right there. It's a little close, but that's fine. for coal. Bad, not bad. I notice other people basically laying out a ton of torches around their place. And I mean, to some extent, I kind of get that. You know, you don't want to be venturing out working on something and have, you know, a creeper sort of blow up a lot of your work and muck it all up. Things, though, I really don't like that aesthetic. You know, even if creeper does come along and do a number on my things, it's going to be relatively easy to repair. You know, I've got tons of stone. I'm not worried about anything related to that. So, you know, why not just sort of lean into it? Speaking of repair. Saw nothing.
myself a little bit of a snack too. Bring a leg. I'm not quite at full health. Now check the map. And I'm still not. Please. Do I have any room? Off? No, I do. Not what I was looking for. Alright, whatever. I'm about to lose a, a pickaxe, so that will give me an excuse to take the shield off. Oh, hey! Interesting. Turns out, actually, this is at a lower level than I thought. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, I did not anticipate that. Okay, well, how am I going to repair this? I guess I repair it the way or the most obvious way. Go back and fill in this with a ton of stone. <laughs> it is kind of hilarious, though. I might. Yeah, I'm still not even on my map. Oh, hilarious. Ah, uh, mapping. You have failed me. Okay, cobblestone. Uh, well, no. Now that I know where I am, I don't really care necessarily about how that lines up. So, I can just carry on with the stone pickaxe and kick the snot out of this. This mean, though, I am going to have to fill this in. Alright. Alright, well, at least uh, my map skills have improved greatly. You see that I actually hit my mark this time. Excellent! Stone. Alright. And now, all I gotta do is make some minor adjustments to what I got. Although, do I have my stair? Yes. Alright. Let's throw some stone down. I don't need to anymore. Thank you very much. Actually, just so I preserve all of the stuff, let's head over, uh, ditch some things in my. A few things right here, why not? Uh, get rid of some cobblestone, get rid of some blackstone. I don't need all this food at the moment. The boat can sit here too. Banner I'm done with. Yep. Yeah, might as well. Cobblestone, I am going to keep one stack. One. I should probably just keep all the stone I've got here. Get rid of that. Get rid of my stone slabs. Keep you guys around now. Or, eh, why not? Just for emergency sake. Alright, and there we go. Now it's a lot tidier. Pick up all the stuff I wasn't able to before. So now I will be drowning in cobblestone. Actually, let's take advantage of my proximity to, you know, my my auto smelter, and set a little bit up in there just to sort of transition it along. I've got a bunch of. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you for confusing me so much, sheep. Let's throw a stack of cobblestone in there. Two stacks, why not? I'm going to be picking up a ton. Yeah, see, look, I've still got 51 cobblestone there. I you know what? Big whole stack. Let's get a ton of stone. 
because after all, I'm going to be chewing through a lot of this build. All right. Stone, where is my... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to, like, chew up some things before I make some cobblestone. I really just only want two or so. Let's actually put a few more in so I can build a little mini stair here. Now, ooh, what are you? Let's throw here. Back a little bit. Stairs on there. And I run like the Dickens. We don't go. Bam. All right, now actually you've got a very nice stair to go up and get me. Yeah, oh well. I'm far away enough they won't be attracted to me, so I should be good. Yes, yeah, so I should be punching out these things as well. Sing them up. Look at all this tasty cobblestone. Important lesson learned about that map. Unfortunately, my home is kind of at an awkward angle for that. It's all right. Spider around here somewhere. As long as you ain't no silverfish, that's all I care about. But not because, you know, silverfish are difficult, they're just annoying, really. I got full health. Full stamina, too, surprisingly enough, given all the running I've been doing. I must be in great shape. We're getting a little bit more daylight. Good, that'll make it a lot easier for me to grab a cow. Need more pickaxes too. All in due time. Right. Punch. Let's get repairing this now. Here we 
Bear in my stare. Bear in my stare. Stone do I have? Okay, a ton. Oh, amusingly, because there are no torches down there, means it's not going to get rid of any spawns. And one block is enough to actually allow spiders to spawn. So basically the entire walkway, I'm going to get hisses from spiders that have spawned and are sort of stuck underneath here, which is kind of hilarious. Unfortunately, because this is facing the opposite way, any mobs that are over here are going to be protected from the sun. And that means I usually get a mob to the face. Want a piece of me? Get over there, I guess. Here you are. Alright, I do need a holding pen for my cows, alas. Let's set up one. Somewhere near the stone farm, I guess. My plan always uh, with the cows was to actually put them up against a wall. Uh, that means it's basically sort of like a one by one thing, so it's very easy to uh, plump them up with food, which I find incredibly handy. Where's my fences? Stairs I don't need for the moment. You go in there. I'm going to need a walkway to get around. Alright, where are my other set? Mercy. One more for that. Just gotta make sure cows cannot go this way. So where is my cobblestone? There, see? There. Now they can't head in there and screw up my plans. Actually, yeah, they can. They can jump blocks. There we go. Now they can't get in there and screw up my plans. Oh, oh shoot, right. Well, I'm gonna screw up my plans because I need wheat to lure them in. And I do not have wheat on me right now. I'll be right back. Oh, and I pull some of this back with me. Blackstone, mud. Yeah, I can pull it all back. Perfect. Also, my buckets are filled. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so let's oh, hi there. Ditch some of the stuff. My sheep. So where is the black stone? You be gone. Cobblestone. How much cobblestone? Oh my god, I got tons of stone. Stone, stone, stone. stone. Uh, put the coal back up in there. Uh, since it's fairly quick. Let's throw you in there. Jump schmelting. I don't need you. Back. Got three shovels, only one pickaxe though. I don't need my boat at the moment. Get rid of you. 
that. Oh, uh, that's like tons of cobblestone. Okay, so... I wish I can put it back. And where is my wheat? There we go. Banners I also don't need at the moment either. Yeah, might as well come for the ride. Doubt I'll need stairs. Yeah, see. That's the problem with not having torches. Is that in here or is it upstairs? I mean, oh, a little spider. That answers that. Sheep? Alright. Aim, wrong button. There we go. And I mine myself up there. Perfect. I guess I can make that work. It's timing's gonna be tight, but I bet you it'll bet you it'll do. Alright. Time's wasting. Let us find some cows. Oh, Enderman. Hey, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing. Hey, Lamos, you're nice, but I want milk. Not... Okay, we'll take an egg, though. And that's a spruce tree, which isn't very nice. I want birch. Yeah, if I am building a tree farm, I should probably grab a bunch of trees at the same time. Certainly, it would make the entrance a little bit less hazardous, too. Let's farm some trees, and that will help me sort of head off the to actually build a proper tree farm. I'm breaking some of this just to hope that it accelerates a sapling falling down. I mean, the leaves are just going to disappear on their own anyway, but what I really want is one of these. There we go, another one. So, oh yes, good. Two birch saplings. And six birch logs. Perfect. I will always take another egg. Thank you very much. Now. Where are my cows at? Sapling. Not, but I got four saved in my inventory. I'm coming back this way, they'll pop out. Ander. Oh, a horse. Some horse armor. Could you go back at home? You look like a donkey. Uh, probably a horse. Where is he? Alright. Where are some cows? In the meantime, don't mind taking a little bit of die. I'm going to need a lot of red, especially if I'm going to do what I'm planning to do.
afternoon. You can never find a cow when you need one. Pigs over there from the looks of it. Is that a cow like pig? Let's take advantage of... No, that's just some dirt. Ah. Now one other nice thing about Optifine is it has a zoom function built in. It admittedly is not vanilla, so... Oops, I think I accidentally cheated a little bit. I don't think the Satosis folks will mind all that much. I could have easily just gone to the menu and directed it as and directed it to move as such. So my goodness. Alright. I guess we're gonna have to Venture through here. What the heck? Flip the flip. I believe I'm going to be mining iron when I find iron. Oh yes, and this is the flower forest over here. Um, eventually I will be building a farm uh, for flowers ex explicitly over here. Um, and this, it, I actually did do a little bit of looking up, and it turns out there isn't any huge advantage to going to a flower farm, uh, simply because the extra flowers you can get from the farm itself are really sort of handled by doing combinations of other dyes, so it's not strictly necessary. Nonetheless, if I'm going to build a flower farm and I'm right next to a flower forest, might as well take advantage, right? Hey, Nabbit. I not have any cows. All right, well, time's getting late in the day, so. I might have to stow that. Instead, work on other things. Pigs, sheep, chickens. Why you hate me, Minecraft? Why you hate me so? Look, there's even horses. See, horses would be awesome. But cows? Nope. Hey, polar bears. First sighting of polar bears, by the way. I have never seen them in the biome before, even though, I mean, I've hung around here quite a bit, you know, scooting around the icebergs. I just have not seen that mob spawn. The problem is, even if I find some cows at this point, it's going to take forever to lure them back. So. Another time.
suppose I could also set up a chicken farm. After all, it would be great to have a source of arrows. Oh, goodness. Little evening shower. Yeah, look, alpacas. Probably the remains of a wandering traveler. And yet, no cows. Minecraft! Home sweet home. Almost. No, you're just bushes. Dang it. Oh, that's awesome. And slightly anyway. Time to flee. <clears throat> well, I suppose I could work on my other idea for that. It's quite amusing, I assure you. Where'd it go? Did you just disappear? Bitch, what can I do? I don't need wheat seeds. There we go. Okay, that's all patched up. I should not have to worry about mobs at all. Got everything from here. Good. All right, let's do a little bit of crafting. Even if you have to smelt, or if you can just transform these poppies, you can just transform. Sweet. All right, let's get some more. Reds and yellows. Let's transform some more birch. Good. Okay, now I've got tons of wood. Use that to build some more signs. It's too far away. Alright, all properly rested. Do not have to worry about any phantoms coming by. Seems uh, some part of the tech crew is calling to me. Turns out they were just uh, reminding me to remember the splits because, you know, I am bad for setting those. Uh, and also to stay hydrated, so not a huge deal. Alright. You guys are all set. do I don't really necess I don't want to yeah no let's make a little bit of orange yeah that's one thing I have not yet made when it dies oh yes and I should ditch eggs in my egg farm uh birches there it goes in okay, now I've got a good collection of oak and birch uh, oh yes I've got 
Nice, I was hoping I would have a ton of trapdoors. In fact, I do, which is great. Oh. And I should, since that's raw sound, transition that over. Hmm. Kelp, I don't know why I've got kelp. Name tag is still kind of handy. Alright, well that means actually I could go downstairs and build an automated farm, as long as I have uh, some redstone with me, which would be incredibly handy. But yeah, now let's finish up this first. I want some orange dye. And how many dyes am I going to need? Not too many, honestly. Alright, give me some glass. I get half a stack, I think. go. Now I got orange. Uh, okay, well I'm going to need a ton of red, so an entire stack of that. Uh, I don't need that much for it, guy. Could use a little bit more yellow, too. Okay, what? Do I have room for it? So, carpets, I shall stack back in here. I should probably move you out of there. In the top. Okay, um, I want all of red. Perfect. That's another stack of you. And did I have, you know, I still wanted a little bit. Be more careful of my employees. Their likelihood is definitely vital to my success over here. Alright. Let's do some of them. Alright. Uno momento. has been satiated, so get back to work for now at least. Although, <laughs> if I do jump off stream, I think you'll know why. Alright, so how much do I have for glass? A lot more of you. How about I just take an entire pane? Okay, throw you back. It's pretty good for that. I'll, I'll probably have to make one or two of those, one or two extras of those, but that'll be fine. I'll just split you up into eights. Uh, that's not eights. Well, there we go. There. Keep five. That's an eight. Perfect. Alright. Uh, then I can just touch up both my orange and yellows. Uh, but in the meantime, let's focus on that red. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna have to just set up a whole new chest for this. Okay, I've got... Wait. That's okay, I've got a ton of wood, so... Entirely doable. I guess I don't need much of a flower farm after all of them. Kicking out this much stained glass. There we go. Alright, so 40 40, that should be good. I need at least three whole stacks of this though. Only got five there. I guess I can always make more. of uh, risk it. Should I risk it? Yep, that was not a good idea. Third. There we go. Although it's snowing. Eh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. See, this is the great thing about being in a mountain home. Get these nice little snowstorms. Entirely inappropriate sound effects. But whatever, whatever. Okay, so that's obviously not going to work. But what I can do... And then put you up. Yeah? And then build a uh, two actually would be awesome. Two back over. Right, and up here I shall stow all my glass. So probably these. Stacks from you. And now, um, go away, you go away, you go away, you go away. You hang out over there. I definitely want pick sexes too. It's all right. All in due time. Little collections doing okay. Now. Yep. And I'm here. be happy to hear I've pleased the tech crew. They seem to be quite content at the moment. And grab some of this while we can. Good, good. Oh wait, no, I already got you. You guys over. Now, but no, it's probably not red. Right. That will be enough red at this point. There, nothing much. 
I do have to head out quite a ways to get some green, unfortunately. Best spot for green actually is cactuses, and that means a desert, and unfortunately there's no desert nearby me. Although there is one that's actually safe to get to by boat, pretty much at any time. Oh no, I've got the sun coming up, so I've wasted just enough time with that. Alright, uh, no, let's make some pickaxes. Actually. Yes. When Frankie can never have enough pickaxes. Alright. Operation Find Cow Find Two Cows, part two. Ugh, haven't even gotten to the nether yet, but oh well. Seeds. I like all the wheat seeds I need. I guess that really cool mob trap is going to have to wait a little bit. Nope. Come on, come on. God. What, two and four into the ceiling? You are a terrible person. Extinguishes. Hmm. Interesting. Pick up anything else? Oh, it looks like it's just a bone. I am not having much luck with Minecraft today, am I? Those probably aren't remnants of a wandering trout. Really. It's probably just um, a remnant of the biome, perhaps. This is sort of Tiaga, I think. High level dry, perhaps? Hey, chicken. Hang in, sheep. That? some ways. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Little pumpkin? Definitely worth it. I'll tell you what. Let's head over to the flower forest area because even if worst comes to worst, I don't find any cows over there. I can we just collect some flowers? And can't really get greens, but could be some blues over there that I'm most interested in. Perfect. 
spider. Sounds like he's dead ahead of me though. At least during the day he should be a neutral mob. I'm trying to keep track of the time though. Why no cow sheep? Why? I swear this game hates me sometimes. I'll get rid of an egg. I've got tons of them. Another beehive. Sweet. Oh, do I have a map? No oh, banners. Yeah, and it wouldn't show up anyway. The map was way too zoomed in. Disappointing. Okay, the tech crew seems to be drawing some attention. Oop. Ouch. <sighs> this is super annoying. Alright. Let's get out of here. Sorry, the other tech group wants some attention. False alarm. Tech crew just wanted their presence known, I guess. Nope. Oh. Carry on. Search of cows. Son. Mm. Really should have taken my timepiece with me. All right, well, whatever. Oh, I'm surprisingly hurt. Huh? Huh? 
Okay. This looks like an okay spot to check. Hop on the shore. Oh, nice. Okay, not too long until... Run out of daylight, though. Come on, if I do. Think cows can swim? I don't know. Oh, shoot, do we even have room and inventory for it? I didn't, oh, I didn't even refine my iron ore. My goodness, where's my head at? <sighs> All right. Eggs. Ouch. Let me watch what I'm doing. I'm doing the stone rather than cobblestone. Embarrassing. I have polar bears, apparently, but not cows. Perhaps I should venture off into that village. Plenty of bread now, thank you very much. Inventory for it. Another walk of shame. Oh, that was a donkey. All right. I've had that appearance. Yeah, your proper horses. Those guys are just donkeys. Oh, Minecraft, you big jerk face. How could you spawn me nowhere near any cows? In pretty much every other t every other game I have played, every other, sorry, uh, home I've set up, I've had just a ton of cows right next to me, so. Alright. Then, if that's the case, I'm going to get my revenge this way. Oh yeah, if I need signs. Okay. I'll be back. Let's get my iron ore brewing. Let's pop you over here. There we go. Nice and protected. Still got room in here. So let's pull out my stone. Store that up here. Okay, oh, that's cobblestone. 
cool stuff. All right, one stack will be good for now. Uh, let me pull this out though, since I was supposed to reorganize that into here. You get another stack, you go down. And there, that's all tidied up. Yep, good, all right. Oh wait, there's a glass plant set up here. Let's put you in here then. There we go, okay. So, uh, uh, so please, thank you. All right, let's do some crafting. Pink dye. How long are you? Magenta. I can work with that. I can work with that. And you should be blue dye. I see. I still no green, but the magenta does help. That's something I did want to get some point. Uh, might as well turn you into some bone meal. Light blue of some sort. Bone meal you go away. Carpets. Well. And I can do it at night. I could just head off and grab some cactus and then I'd be full up on dyes. So let's pull some glass planes, please. Uh, pink dye, I don't need. Thank you very much. Take advantage of the blue. All right, and same for magenta. You still need a little bit more. I would break you up. Two bits. I'll just do you manually from here. One should be sufficient. Should still be some planes in there. And one more. Alright. It should be all I need for that. 40, 40, 40, 40. So I still need green. Alright. Stash you guys over here. Pumpkin. You are awesome, pumpkins. Uh, arrows, I've got a ton of. Eggs. I should do something with my eggs. <sighs> okay, as tempting as it would be to go over and grab. Uh, some cacti right now. That's a long walk, and I'm nearly at my time. So, that's not going to happen. Oh, wait. Two glass planes over here. Have any more glass? A map? Good. Got. I should organize this a little bit more. Stone, but I want. I'm going to be doing any construction. Two slabs would be good. All right, we'll tell you what. I will get a start on the mob thing. Yes, yes. Which means then I'm going to need signs. I'm going to need one, two, three, eight in total. I don't do. Do I have any more in my inventory? Acacia signs. Okay, that's nine right there. That uh, will do me. Alright, let's get building this thing. Perfect.
Throw some cobblestone down, just so I don't have to worry about any intruders. Oh, jeez, speaking of which. I love how he tries to hide. I can't see you there. You're a freaking white skeleton. You don't blend in with anything. <laughs> Thank you, Zom. Alright. Let's make this a little more safe. Now I can work in peace. Look at all these things. Okay, all right. Let us lay down a bunch of signs. Yeah, let's do it right. It's got to be right here. Yeah, I don't think I even have enough signs, quite frankly. All right, well. I shall make do. Um. Stash you down instead. Swim up. There we go. And good. Duplicate this on the other side. Got three sides here. Perfect. All right, that part finished. Let's build up. Should I go one higher? Yeah. You need some fruit, though. All right. Our block. One. Block two. Okay, rapidly drowning. Let's. We should put like dirt in there or something. Put my sign in there.
at least, since I'm in open air, I don't have to worry about filling speeds. All of it? That is all of it. Alright. Let's test this thing in action. Or let's not. It's now daylight. Yeah, but here's the theory behind it. Mobs automatically swim up. And so if I create a two block wide like this, essentially what they'll do is they'll just start to they'll float up there, drown, and it'll be dropped down just right here. So we should probably throw a chest underneath there as well, including some hoppers. Plus, I do not have anywhere near enough uh, mineral for that. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy that nice little trap. And of course, because human beings aren't, don't automatically uh, bound up when they're swimming, you know, it's we can just sort of walk through and not fall into this trap. Alright. The thing is though, I am going to need, because I want to pass uh, cows through here, and cows count as mobs, and thus will come up, I actually need to block off these areas right here from the water. So that means four more signs. I can do that, and then I think with that, I shall log off and call it a day. God, so disappointing that I couldn't get any cows, but... Whatever. I'm at least ready for them. Andy. All right, so I've only got is that one more sign. I want dark oak planks. Yeah, but I need a lot more than that. All right. All right, and that's a total of four. So I'll grab my. Dark oak. And before I forget, might as well set these out. an enderman stuck in the wall over there. It's alright. Let's lay out some signs. Alright. Oh no, but I'm going to be coming from this side, so it's actually this one that I want. Alright, and finally my last little one. To raise the water. Oh. True. There we go. All well and done. With that, I've broken. Oh, and it ends up to its tricks. All right, I think with that we will have to call it a day. Ugh. Really frustrating that I didn't actually find any cows, but I'll just have to wander around a little bit and see if I can find them. So I guess with that, I am out of here, and I shall see you next stream.